If you are looking for upskill and mastering in any of the AWS services, this video is for you. Myself, Vasan, I have eight years of experience in IT and five cross AWS certified. Here we talk about nine steps, how to approach any AWS service and master in it. When you begin with any services, always ask these three questions, what, why, and how. The answer for these three questions can be directly found either at the product service page or at the FAQ sections of the service page. The next thing you would need to know either the service which you are approaching, is it a server-based service or a serverless? So that you can plan accordingly, is it the management of the backend infra, it comes to you or the AWS is going to take care of it. In the same way, the auto-scaling part also can get covered in case if it's serverless, else you can also plan up how to scale up the services. The next thing you would need to look at is is that the service is region specific, IO2 zone specific, or is that the global service? So that when you're going to design the architectural diagram using that service, it's going to be very easy for you to understand where that service is going to fit in. Most common question nowadays asked is how much it would going to cost us? Because with the track record of uh, the cloud, the scalability and security is like well proven and the people most worried about is the costing wise. So it's always better to know when we introduce a new service, how much it's going to cost us. You can use tooling like price calculator to understand how much it's going to cost you. Also check out how much is allowed in the free tier so that you can uh, try to play within the limit when you start with the hands-on part. If you are having an AWS enterprise account, then you can also reach out to your TAM to ask for AWS credits to play with it. Before you even start deep diving into the service, I would say watch someone doing it. It can be a tutorial videos so that we understand and grasp what actually the end result is. So once you started watching how people are doing it, then the next step is to trying it yourself. The sources for watching someone doing it is it can be an Udemy course. So most of the Udemy course covers the hands-on part. So have a look at it to get an understanding how it's done. There are also like tons and tons of YouTube videos available, which shows a tutorial. Uh, even the AWS official channel itself is there. In case if it's a new service where the video tutorial is not available, then you can also refer how to section of uh, the service where step-by-step -step guide would be provided. You can also consider attending workshops or user group events nearby you so that you gain the knowledge from the industry leaders. Also, you get the opportunity to network with the like-minded people so that you can expand your network and also start following the people in the LinkedIn. So to get more feeds around the service and what's happening around the industry. Architecting your application can be more like a journey there can be multiple ways, multiple paths to achieve your destination. It also belongs from where you begin with. Also remember, the AWS services are interconnected with each other. For, for example, the EC2 mounted with security group, mapped via load balancer, and then it's routed via the Route 53 DNS. So when you approach any of the services, also consider the fact what other AWS services that would go hand in hand with the services which are approaching. It's always uh, good to understand how actually it's done in the real world use cases than just going with the documentation or theoretical part. You can refer use case studies under the AWS docs of each services, like how the industry leaders are using the service in their own custom use case. The AWS workshop from the AWS can come handy where there is like plenty of hands-on based guides available to get it try our hands dirty for each and every services. Try to focus on the certification which you are targeting more towards it because the certifications are real-time based scenarios. So once you start preparing for it, you would get the idea what would be the real-time scenarios and what would be the best practices that you would choose as the option of multiple approach of solving the problem. If you are preparing for any AWS certification, you might be interested in checking out our seven steps to clear any AWS certificate, linking the video here. Cheers guys, see you in the next video. Until then, tada baby from Vasan.